second greenhouse. This is an old lean-to greenhouse that my dad built probably 25 years ago. Uh, I live in the home that I grew up in. My mom and dad have moved and we took over the place and uh, this is an old greenhouse that dad built that is in really bad shape and it needs some work but I'm going to use it. Uh, it's glass sides. It's got a few windows in it so that we can open it. Uh, it's got a I don't know a fiberglass top on it and it's a lot of sun right now but in the summertime if you can see uh, it's surrounded by big oak trees so there's a lot of shade also so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and grow my lettuce my salanova inside this greenhouse it's gonna be shaded so I don't know how that's gonna work but I do know that it's a lot cooler in there than it would be in my other greenhouse which is right over there out in the sunshine so that's the plan is to get my salanova lettuce and in the future whatever other lettuce that i try in this greenhouse we're going to see how it works see how it works in this shade so uh just going to give you an update there now i'm going to show you how i uh transplant my lettuce into my deep water cultures into my uh, containers so let's pick up on that so i have my containers set up i've got four containers i'm going to put six lettuce in each container and so you can see what i've done here inside is uh i've got a long air stone in there there's the air pump another long air stone and these two, I've got two short ones, no particular reason other than that's what I bought at two separate times. Got my air pump there and two more air stones. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put water in here and uh, I'm going to fill it up to this, at the bottom of the net cup. So I'll show you that when I get the water in there. I've got my water in there now. You can see I've got the air pumps going. Got the air going into the container. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop one of these tops on. And if you can see here, this top, I've got a net cut in one corner here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this top on the container and snap it down. Now I'm going to put water into it until I get about a quarter of an inch above that net cup. That's about where I want it for, for my plants. So the water's reached the bottom of the cup. You can see it coming through. A little bit more and then I'm going to be satisfied with where it's at. I noticed in these containers that the corners are a little bit higher than the middle. So as soon as it breaks through like that, I'm done. Okay, now I'm going to mix up the nutrients for this. And uh, what I use is from MHP Gardener, his recipe. I do a little bit of addition to it. But what I've got here is Urban Hydroponics Lettuce Fertilizer. It's 81536. Got an empty gallon jug and a teaspoon. I don't have a, a scale, so I'm not real precise with this, but in a small container like this, this is what I do. I put two teaspoons of the lettuce hydroponic fertilizer. And then I've got the calcium nitrate here. Again, this is uh, from MHP Gardener's recipe. And I also use Two teaspoons there. And I don't heat them too much. I keep them as level as I can. And then I've got Epsom salt, just plain old Epsom salt, and I use one teaspoon for that. So I've got that, but now something I've added to it, this is General Hydroponics uh, the four micro uh, mix. And um, several years ago I ordered the 
the three pack. There's three different ones. There's the four micro. There's the uh, uh, there's three different ones. I can't remember which ones they are, but this is the one that has the uh, micronutrients in it. And so what I like to do, and I do this with my tomatoes and my lettuce, is I just pour about half a cap full of this stuff into the cap, and then I pour it in there. And I just uh, have no scientific proof to this, but I just think that that gives it those micronutrients that uh, the plants may be missing in, in the other mix. So what I then do is uh, just put my water hose into the gallon jug, and I, I just fill that maybe less than a quarter. And then I just stop it right there, about that much in there. Once I've got the water in there, I just put the top on it, and then I just shake it, just to mix everything up. And one thing I'll notice is the calcium nitrate does not dissolve very easily, so you give it quite a bit of shake. Maybe you turn it upside down and shake it. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to mix that up, and I'm also trying to get the calcium nitrate to dissolve before I put it in there. So once I've got it shaken up, it looks like mud. <laughs> but then I just take it, pop the top off, in a container, then I just kind of slowly pour it in there. And I don't worry too much about getting my hands in there and mixing it up because I've got the airstone in there and the airstone does a really good job uh, of mixing it up. So that's how I do the nutrients for my deep water culture lettuce. So these are my lettuce starts. Uh, these are uh, all Salanova lettuce from Johnny's. Never tried it before. It's supposed to be one cut lettuce. All leaves will be the same when they head up. So what I've got is uh, 12 green incised. Got six red incised and six green butterhead. So those are the plants that I'm going to be using. So I started my plants in rock wool, and what I'm going to be doing now, I put them in these planter holders. These are usually for transplants, soil transplants, but uh, they seem to fit these one inch cubes really good, so I use them. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to hold the camera with my hand and do this, is I'm going to pull one of the rock wool cubes out, and you can see roots on there and then I just stick it in the net cup as you can tell the net cup is bigger than the rock wool cube is so what I've got here is I've got a, uh, some old perlite that I have used for other things and what I do is I just take the perlite and I just put it around plant and it does fall into the water but it doesn't hurt anything so I just put it around the plant just to kind of stabilize it so that it won't be rocking around I'll just kind of stuff it in push it around in there get a little base to hold it up right while it starts growing and that's the way that I transplant into my deep water culture so that's what I'm going to be doing 23 more times. And uh, we'll see how this salmonella works in this old greenhouse. So if you've got comments or questions or suggestions, you know I'm open for them. Uh, just uh, leave a comment down at the bottom. I also want to ask you to uh, subscribe, uh, share this channel. Uh, I'd love to see more people walking along with me here, helping me out, and watching me start this new market garden process. So thanks for watching again, guys. Bye-bye.